Hi, it's Dr. McCarthy here, and I want to welcome you to today's 12 Days of Christmas Holiday Health Tip. Today we're going to talk about something very, very important, and it's a word that some of you may have heard of before, but I'm going to explain it in a little bit more detail. Essential fatty acids, for short, we call them EFAs. There's two different kinds that we really deal with, omega-6 and omega-3. The problem is people really don't know the difference between the two. In the standard American diet, we eat an enormous amount of omega-6 fatty acids and very little omega-3. These should be, in, in a healthful diet, they should be in a one-to-one -one ratio. In the average American diet, it's somewhere around a 40-to-one ratio, which, not coincidentally, is the same ratio found in a potato chip. So the average American has the health of about a potato chip. Too much omega-6, too little omega-3 leads to inflammation inside your body. The omega-6 fatty acids create inflammation, which we need some of that. The omega-6, uh, the omega-3 puts out inflammation, which is what we need uh, long term. In order to have proper health, we should have this at least a 3 to 1 or lower ratio, ideally a 1 to 1 ratio. So if we have this high ratio omega-6 to omega-3, like I said, it leads to inflammation. On one of the other holiday health tips, we talked about how inflammation drives all these common disease processes like uh, cancer and heart disease and Alzheimer's and dementia and uh, diabetes. It also leads to pain. High omega-6, low omega-3, your pain is worse. We can actually take someone who's dealing with chronic pain and just simply change their diet increase their omega-3, lower their omega-6, and their pain improves just by changing their diet. Pretty cool stuff. And then lastly, I mentioned insulin resistance. If you can lower inflammation, you can decrease this condition called insulin resistance. This is what leads to diabetes. So if we can change your essential fatty acid intake, change the ratio, we can prevent or improve someone who's got diabetes. Uh, uh, essential fatty acids are also crucial. This is very, very important for stuff that we see here in our office for normal brain and nerve function. The, uh, there's two different forms of essential fatty acids that we deal with a lot, EPA and DHA. And the DHA is critical to uh, surround your nerve cells and to promote health amongst your neurons. Lastly, I want to talk about, we mentioned the Alzheimer's. If you've got this abnormal ratio, high omega-6, low omega-3, that speeds up a condition called neurodegeneration. Basically, your brain is decaying a lot faster than the average person because you've got an abnormal ratio. Change the ratio, change your brain. Last thing I want to talk about is this nasty bugger called microglia. These are cells inside your nervous system, inside your brain, and when you've got this abnormal ratio, and inflammation, these cells get activated. These are little tiny, tiny cells, but a colleague of mine called them chihuahuas with bazookas, and they just start blowing things up. So if we can dampen their activity, we can slow down neurodegeneration. If you don't know how to change your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, you need to call my office now. Give Kathy a call, tell her that you saw this video, and you want to learn more about essential fatty acids. Thanks, have a good day.